Hi everyone, my name is Craig and I'm a film director and producer. And in today's video, I'm gonna very briefly show you how to de-squeeze anamorphic footage in Adobe Premiere. There's a lot of ways that you can do this, um, but I've found that this method is by far the quickest way and saves me the most time when I'm working with different anamorphic lenses. So for today's video, we're looking at um, the Sure 50 millimeter anamorphic lens. It has a 1.6 times anamorphic squeeze factor. So we'll have to use that number to calculate some things a little bit later, but I'll show you the quickest way to do this that I've found. So jumping into Premiere, I'm gonna show you a normal 4K footage timeline. And then I'm gonna show you like a custom anamorphic um, timeline where you can do some calculations and change your anamorphic setting if you don't want those black bars up on the screen. So these are the two clips we're working with today. Here's just the first shot of my friend with the Ronin. And you can see it's kind of squeezed in that compression, the anamorphic factor. And you can see that bokeh in the background is kind of overly. And then the second shot is a shot of a, just a university um, campus. And we have that same kind of squeezed factor from this image as well. So the fastest way to do this is actually gonna be with the scale height, not the scale width, if you're okay with black bars being in your image frame. So we're gonna bring up a calculator and we're gonna take um, the scale width, which we'll still maintain at 100, and we're gonna divide that by 1.6 to get our scale height. So when we do this, we get a scale height of 62.5. So very quickly, I'm gonna minimize that, go up to our scale height, uncheck uniform scale. So you don't want this checked, you wanna uncheck that so you can independently adjust the height and the width. And we're gonna change that to 62.5, which was our calculation, hit enter, and there you go. There's your de-squeeze, it's already finished. So that's by far the quickest method. And we have a 1.6 um, de-squeeze factor going on here, but we've done it with the height instead of the width, which most people show you the width, but I find that this way is a lot quicker. So that's that one. And we'll do the same thing to this one. We're gonna adjust the scale height to 62.5. Hit enter and there we go. You have your anamorphic de-squeeze. With this method, you will have black bars on top of your, your sequence settings. So if you don't want those, let me show you a quick other adjustment. So for this other sequence, I'm going to take the same math that we applied the 1.6 times and apply it to the sequence settings so that the only pixels that we see in the image are pixels that our anamorphic um, file will actually fill the frame. So we won't see those black bars with, the, with this method. So we're just gonna go up to our, click on our sequence, go up to our sequence settings. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna times the horizontal width. So 3840, so this is a traditional just 16 by nine aspect ratio. So 3840, we're gonna times that. So 3840, and we're gonna times that by 1.6. And that's gonna get us 6144. So we're gonna change our frame size to 6144, hit okay. And it's okay that this will, you know, just hit okay. And now we have this weird looking thing where there's a bunch of bars on the side. So for this one, we're actually going to change the width and not the height here. So all we have to do is same process, but instead of adjusting the height, we'll adjust the width, go up to width, and you're gonna times that by 160 because of the 1.6 crop factor, hit enter, and there you go. So now you have a sequence that's completely filled um, edge to edge with the anamorphic footage. And you don't have like on this clip, you have the black bars. On this one, you don't have the black bars. It's always good to check your work, so I'll even show you this calculation here. So if we take 160, divide that by 1.6, we're gonna get 100. So you can tell, there you go, it seems pretty straightforward. 100 times 1.6 is 160, but it's always good to check your math on these things. And this works with any sort of anamorphic lens. So if you had a lens that was a 1.33 crop factor, you can replace everything I've done in this video with 1.33, do your math, and you'll get your correct um, sequence settings or your correct uh, scale height and scale width. I'm gonna wrap up this video with one tip that you might be wondering. You might be thinking, Craig, okay, this is wonderful, but now what do, I don't want this super widescreen format. I wanna scale up my image to fill the frame a little bit more. And maybe you want to go back to a more traditional like um, 2, 35, 1 aspect ratio or something where the, there's, you can fill the frame a little bit more, less black space. A quick way to do this is to use, in the effects controls, you can type in transform, and you can get this distort transform effect. Drag that onto your timeline. And this is essentially the motion um, effect here. So if I turn this on and off, you're seeing that we're de-squeezing that image. But you can also do a lot of those same 
uh, properties, you can adjust the same properties with the transform effect. Um, but one thing that's beautiful is you can scale up your image very quickly. So if you wanted to fill your frame with a different scale, you could do that right here. But you can also do the uh, the anamorphic de-squeeze with the transform effect. So that's a little hack for you. Use the transform effect if you're wanting to do additional scaling properties to your clip after you've de-squeezed the footage. There is of course the method of double clicking or right clicking on your clip and hit modify interpret footage. And this is where you can conform your pixel aspect ratio to a different format. And you could choose like the HD anamorphic preset and that would quickly apply this adjustment for a 1.33 lens, but there's not an option here for 1.6. So you'd have to do this manually. But if you are using a lens that's a 1.3 anamorphic squeeze factor, you could click this and hit okay. And then it's going to quickly um, adjust your footage like it did right here. But then you would still have to go in and scale your, your footage appropriately. Um, but again, this is not a 1.33, so it's still a little bit, it's not there fully. It has to go to 1.6 here for this one. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. If you use anamorphic lenses, you're gonna need to de-squeeze your footage. Otherwise, you're gonna get that really weird aspect ratio. So hopefully this tutorial will save you some time with having to search online for a bunch of different methods. This just consolidates a couple of the methods and shows you how you can quickly use the scale feature, uncheck uniform scale, or use the transform property to adjust your files as needed. It's a very quick way to adjust your anamorphic footage. Thanks so much for taking time to watch this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's lots more videos like this coming very soon. Thanks so much guys, much love.